Welcome to PremiumSelectSupplies.com. We carry all of the Streamlight TLR6 models that fits several subcompact handguns. This is the model 69290 that fits the railed Glock generations 3 and 4. Please see the description below as this fits several different models. First of all, we have the packaging, and as you can see, the light itself is 100 lumens. We're gonna put that aside. It comes with an Allen wrench, and that wrench is gonna do a couple different things. So first of all, we are going to take the screws out of the housing. There's three of them. We're not, to save time, we're not gonna actually do this and put it on a gun. It's pretty self-explanatory after that. But please be careful with the screws in the wrench it's easy to strip the wrench. It's easy to str uh, strip the screw heads. So don't just start yanking on the screw. Just make sure you're e you get it you get it placed just right and then ease into it. But all three screws need to come apart or come out, and then the housing is going to come apart. You're going to wrap that around the trigger guard and the rail, and then you're going to reinstall the screws. To install the batteries. You want to take like a small pry bar. This happens to be a Glow Rhino pry, pry bar that we do sell as well. And we're going to gently unlatch the battery door. And we're going to take the batteries and we're going to put them negative side down first. And I had that backwards. We're going to take that latch. And in most cases, you're going to be able to hear it click into place but you're definitely gonna feel it. And now the battery door is closed. So to operate the light, you're gonna simply hit the left or the right button. And that's gonna turn on the light and the laser, which the laser might be hard to see because this is close quarters. And to turn off the light, press either button. Uh, remember, this is ambidextrous. Now, if I wanna change the settings, maybe I just want the light only, I'm going to press both buttons at the same time. And then if I want just the laser, again, I'm going to press both buttons at the same time, it changes to the laser. On any of these settings, and I, I, I did that again, that took me back to factory settings with the light and laser, but with any of those settings, all you have to do is press either button to turn on and off. To adjust the laser, we're gonna take that same wrench, that's why I kept it out, and on the bottom is going to be the elevation. And again, just like the housing screws, be gentle, make sure that you, ha you have this inserted and then gently turn the direction that you want. And then for windage, it's on the left-hand side of the housing. So the price is listed in the description below. If you use code YT10, that's going to get you 10% off, and that includes free shipping. We hope you enjoy the video. Thank you for watching, and make sure to subscribe, like this video, and please share. That really helps us out a lot. And again, thank you for watching. PremiumSelectSupplies.com.